yards of African fabric or chiffon, crepe or duchess. Any of those will work for this. So today is the sewing tutorial of the last video I made this halter neckline. If you haven't watched the video of how I made this, try and watch that and come back to watch how I'm going to be sewing this. We are only going to be changing the neckline of the halter neck in front. But, but for the back, it's going to be the same thing we made at the last tutorial. So for today, I'm going to be working on the front neckline. Now, I'm going to make a difference on the neckline. If you guys notice, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you watch the video. But well, the line I have here is the chest line. So on this chest line, we are going to be making some draping on the neckline. So I'm going to make some lines on this line so that I, I will make some drapes. So I'm just going to make at least two or three lines here. Two lines is okay. You can make two lines. Two lines will work. Or you can, you know, you can even make it like this. If you want to make it three lines, you can make it like this. So on these lines that I have cut out, on the chest line, I'm going to cut the chest line open. Remember the line I'm cutting is the chest line, not the armhole line. So I'm going to cut up these lines to make a slash and spread. So I'm going to go ahead and slash this. Let me so I'm going to go to my material now and place this like this to have some drapings in front like this. Can you guys see? So let me bring my fabric and show you guys how to cut this alternate line. To your fabric, you fold your fabric in two like this. Can you see how I folded it? And then you're going to slant it this way in a triangular form and you place your pattern on it and cut out. So I'm just going to, you know, place this like this to give it that bias shape and I'll place my pattern on it and cut out. Now remember, if you watch the video how I made this, this is the chest line. So from here, as you can see, this is the only line that is squared out and that is why I purposely square this line. So I'm just going to use this line and make a guide because I didn't make my pattern to be full. So I'm going to place this here what i have here is 10 inches i'm going to place it here and take down the length of the dress so the length of the dress i'm using is 37 inches yeah exactly 40 and i have sewing allowance here so i'm just going to cut this out I'm just going to place the front panel like the same way and I will cut out the front panel. So for this back, we are going to have a slit here. We are going to make a slit. So this will be the back. Next, I'm going to place my front panel the same way I place this one and I will cut out the, the front panel. So this is it. After cutting it out, as you can see, so I'm just going to take off these pins. And then we're going to go ahead to sew this. So you can either sew it, sewing it, you can either use bias to hem this, or you can go ahead and overlock this and hem it this way. Whichever way you want to, you just hem it first. After overlocking it, you just go ahead and, you know, fold it like this and sew it. So I'm going to just do this method for the sake of this video. I'll just go ahead and overlock these places and I fold it this way. The same thing to the back. 
this is the armhole after overlocking it so i'm just going to fold it like this and sew it so i'll just do the same thing to the all the armhole both the back and the front so this is it after sewing it i'll go over to the back and tape the back the slit at the back so guys i think i'll just have to stop talking and you guys watch what i'm doing <laughs> 